Need to make a seamless pattern in Illustrator? Let's find out how in this tutorial. You want to start by creating a new document. So come to File, New. And in your New Document section, whether you use web or print, it doesn't matter. But you always want to make sure that your canvas is a square. So I'm going to work in web and I'm going to create my canvas size of 1080 by 1080 pixels. Remember, you need to have your canvas size as a square and press. So this is the document now in which I'm going to create my pattern. I'm just going to zoom out a little from this. So the next thing you want to do is bring in your artwork to create your pattern with. You can do this in this document, that's up to you, or as you can see, I've got these pre-made really cool dog graphics that I'm going to use to create my pattern. I'm going to use the selection to highlight all of these. I'm going to command or control copy to copy them. And then when I come into my document here, I'm going to command and V to paste. This is where you start arranging the elements to create your pattern. What you want to do is to create the seamless pattern, you want to have overlay on the left and the top and then a blank here on the bottom and the right. That means then when the pattern repeats, it's going to take from the left, it's going to take from the top, and it's going to create this kind of seamless pattern. And I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. So let's arrange the elements we have in our pattern. One thing to remember as well with each of these individual graphics, make sure each one is right-clicked grouped. As you see, I've already got these grouped, but if you haven't done that already, make sure they're all grouped together. So let's arrange an overlap here on the left. Let's bring the bulldog up here and the corgi here. And then the rest then we're going to arrange kind of in the center. And we can always play around with this once we've repeated the pattern. Can maybe twist this here. But remember, it's important to leave this bottom section blank because these are going to repeat here. And again, this right hand section blank because these two are going to repeat here. Once you're happy with your arrangement, selection tool. So we're going to highlight these two on the left here. Object, transform, move. And it's important to know now we're working on the horizontal axes. And that number that I said at the start, you need to remember your canvas size. That's what you want to put now in the horizontal. So for me, that's 1080 pixels. For you, it can be whatever it is. And then you're going to select vertical to zero to keep that in line. Use the preview to see what's going on here. That's looking good to me. And then you're going to press copy. And then that will then repeat the pattern over to the right hand side. We're now going to do exactly the same with the top and the bottom or the vertical axes. So we've selected these with the selection tool. Let's go to object, transform, move. And we'll now do the same, but we'll reverse it. So we'll select zero for the horizontal. And for me, this will be 1080. For you, it can be something very different depending on the size of your artwork. Let's use the preview. Yep, that looks good. And again, let's press copy. From here now, you can start to play around with the pattern a little more. So let's move the Alsatian up and the Corgi here. And let's kind of play around. You know, maybe I can make this one a little bigger. This one a little bigger too. Again, I'm being very quick with this. You'll take a lot more time uh, than I have here. So once you're happy then with the arrangement, now what we're going to do is we're going to crop this. So first things first, before we do that, let's select a rectangle. Let's click, create a rectangle the size of the canvas. Use our align options to select, to align it left and up, and then right click, arrange, center back. And now I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to highlight everything, command C, and then Command V, and I'm going to drag this over to you. I want to have a copy of this in case I want to go back to this point and kind of make changes to the pattern. So I can get rid of that background now. We're going to do this on a transparent background. Another thing to be wary of as well now, before we go in and we create our crop so that we can repeat this pattern, make sure all of your artwork, if you've used fill and stroke, make sure you go to Object Expand. But once you've done that, Object Expand Appearance and expand the fill and stroke. I've already done this with my artwork, but that's something to be aware of. You want to make sure that everything is flattened, everything's expanded before you kind of go into this section. And that's why it's important to have this step handy in case you do want to go back to those early stages and make changes. Once we're happy with everything here, so you've got your artwork aligned, you've got everything kind of grouped and expanded. The last thing we're going to do then before we go into the, to the crop is highlight all these. We're going to right click and we're going to create a group. And then we're going to create a bounding box for all of these 
uh, little patterns, little dogs. Let's come to my uh, rectangle tool. I'm just going to click the center here, 1080 by 1080. I'm happy with that. Press OK. Let's use the selection tool then. I'm going to align this to the artboard perfectly. So once I'm happy with the arrangement, I've got my bounding box on top. I'm going to highlight both of these with the selection tool. And then I'm going to come to my pathfinder here and I'm going to select the crop option. And now that is going to crop this into a square that can be repeated. Let's zoom out here using command minus. The next thing I want to do then is I'm going to come to my swatches panel. I've got this on the side here, but you can also go to window swatches if you can't see it. And then this pattern now that I have, I'm going to drag this over into my swatches. You see that little add button appears. I'm going to click that there. Now I've created a swatch that I can apply to any shape. So let's put this to the test now. Let's zoom out over here. I'm just going to grab a rectangle and I'm going to draw out a large rectangle. There you go. It's selected now with selection tool. And then what I'll do is I'm going to come into my swatches and I'm going to select this new pattern swatch for. And there you go. There's my dog pattern appearing with the transparent background. And the beauty of this now, if I use the direct selection and make this bigger, you can see the pattern now is repeating in a seamless motion, which is really cool to look at. And you can come that down there as well. One last thing to think about then, if you want to kind of change the size of this, if you select the pattern here, I'm going to go to Object, Transform, Scale. And what you'll have then is you'll have this scale options come up. What you want to do is you want to take off scale corners, scale stroke and effects, and transform objects. We just want to transform the pattern. And the nice thing is now we can decide if we want this smaller, even smaller than that again. We can make it bigger than 100%. We can kind of do whatever we want with it. Press the preview, and then when you're happy with it, then you can press OK, and you can alter the scale of the pattern then to repeat over a much greater scale, over a smaller scale, whatever you want to do. Right now, this pattern is on a transparent background. If you want to add a background color to it or background gradient, that's very simple. Let's come back to the original pattern here. Just zoom in. All I'm going to do, let's just select, select a fill color here, just like the nice little orange. Come over to the rectangle tool. I'm just going to create a rectangle the size of my canvas, 1080, 1080. Press OK. I'm going to use Selection Tool now by pressing V. Let's align this to the artboard. And then what we'll do then is arrange center back. There's my background. And then if I highlight all these and do as I did before, drag this over then into my swatches. And then if we try this here then, so let's create a, let's try a circle this time. Yeah, let's create an ellipse tool, create an ellipse. And then let's select my pattern swatch five. And there you go. My little dogs have appeared. And like I said, the beauty of this now is you've got this really cool pattern that looks awesome. But then if you do want to go back to the original, you can always come back to this piece that you saved or you save put to, to one side so that if you want to kind of adjust and make changes, um, you can do so there. So there you have it. There's a quick, simple and easy way to make a seamless pattern in Illustrator using already created artwork that you have, or if you want to create artwork from scratch, that's absolutely fine as well. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope you found it helpful. Please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and let me know of any future tutorials you'd like to see in the comments below. And until next time, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.